Okay, so a lot of you out there may be wondering yourself, what is this thing and why does that dose have a briefcase? Well, all questions will be answered in due time. But first and foremost, this is set 6497, the Twisted Time Train or the Dose Train, part of the sub-theme of the Time Cruisers, the Time Twisters. Released in 1997, it has 277 parts and um, four minifigures. Yeah, I think I got that right. Ooh, it only took me uh, like three million takes to do that. But yeah, so this is a very interesting set, uh, quite a big set, a lot of interesting uh, dark parts. You don't see that very often in these kind of bad sort of sets. Um, yeah, and also there's a lot of moving parts that are really interesting to share. Uh, at risk of kind of destabilizing everything back here, because this is at the very back of my like filming area, so it's kind of hard to stretch and showcase it all. Uh, but you can see it, uh, there's a lot of movement. I'll, I'll showcase everything in finer detail uh, individually with each car. But first, uh, let's uh, take a look at the minifigures before we get too distracted. Okay, out of the four of minifigures available, only two are actually named, at least in the European version. We have Professor Millennium and Tony Twister. And if you couldn't tell already, these guys are basically reuses of various parts from various themes uh, available at the time. Uh, I believe his head is from the Wild West theme and his is from uh, Fright Nights. So uh, taking a closer look, uh, we can see that... They really quite have uh, unique faces, uh, even if they're just reuses. So I'm glad they got to reuse them. Um, it's hard to tell where his mustache ends and his face, his mouth begins. Uh, but I like those squinty eyes and the use of hair around the edges. That's so 90s. Um, but yeah, this guy, oh man, uh, he really looks like a Vulcan or uh, a Romulan. Yeah, Romulan with that uh, evil goatee. That's pretty cool, right? So anyone out there looking for a mock, uh, trying to make a whole bunch of uh, evil Romulans, there you go. There's your head for you. But yeah, the last two guys, uh, basically just generic little uh, villains. Uh, we have uh, Dude Skeleton and Business Ghost, as I like to call them. Dude Skeleton because he's behind a giant trumpet. And, well, obviously, this guy's just late for uh, for first class. So enough dilly-dallying. Let's move on to the set. Choo-choo. Da -da 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 -da. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is the engine. Uh, you can't have a train without an engine pulling the whole thing. So uh, this thing's pretty crazy. Um, just taking a look at this thing, uh, you can see there's all kinds of things going on. There's swords, there's trumpets, there's chrome things, there's bats, flames, and uh, apparently this is a dual cockpit sort of thing. Here's a dagger on this side, which is cool. Um, yeah, this is really just quite a crazy... Oh, the bat always falls off, it seems, especially when I'm trying to mess with it. Um, go figure, right? Um, yeah, this is really quite a crazy little uh, contraption. Say that three times fast. Um, the main action for this car is that the smokestack goes up and down. That's driven by a sort of a uh, uh, sort of a flywheel sort of thing. Uh, it just basically pushes the whole thing up and down. Very unique. Um, very really pretty cool. Uh, and it connects to the next car using a uh, sort of city, I wanna, I wanna say this is just a, uh, a kind of like a space, I don't know, it's a junction point. Whatever, what do you expect from me? I just like to collect, collect the toys. I don't really know what they're called. So I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who know the numbers by heart, but yeah, that's not me. I like to play with the things. So there we go. Uh, let's move on to the next uh, car. Flapping its way in is uh, the next car. Well, technically, uh, the next two cars are uh, interchangeable, but I like to see this one as the next uh, car, officially. Uh, it is the Fright Nights car, or the, I don't know, the uh, Wild West theme car, because it's got a lot of those themes going on. Definitely Wild West right here, Fright Nights there. Uh, got a couple bat wings, just for good measure. Um, and I believe there's... Yep, there's a stick of dynamite in the bin, so I'm going to say it's a Wild West theme, even though it's got a couple of atramones. Anyway, this is the Dude Skeleton uh, car, and I say that because he's playing a trumpet. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is kind of the crazy car. Uh, it's the one uh, I like to keep in the middle, like I said, and as such, when you grab the front and the back, uh, this guy tends, ends up uh, wiggling all over the place and drops uh, his dynamite all over the place so uh just a just kind of a nitpick um it's really kind of a i don't know an interesting car uh it, because it has three moving parts it has the bat wing the hypno wheel or the anti-hypno wheel and it spins a skeleton around so he's just uh playing all day spinning around and that's pretty cool 
uh, as such with this complex uh, sort of gearing and whatnot, um, you basically have the whole thing run off of one belt, but it's easy to slip off. Um, in fact, I almost just did it. So uh, that said, uh, especially when you're trying to uh, fix the whole thing and the dynamite falls out again. Uh, yeah, so that's really kind of a cool little car. I enjoy it. It's uh, certainly the one with the most action, and uh, I don't know, um, it, with, with a little bit more flourish, it could have been its own set, really. Um, and so the Time Cruisers could have been, I don't know, buy three sets and combine them into make this super set like they used to do with uh, the old um, space theme sets, uh, although nobody ever ended up getting those. But oh well, I digress. Let's move on to the very last car. Way! Alright, last but not least, we have. Honestly, I don't know. Um, this is actually a Professor Millennium's car, uh, technically, but I like to call it the Business Ghost car because there he is. Look, look at him. He's all happy. He's just, he just patiently waiting for me to finish my review so he can go on with his commute. Uh, bless him. Uh, yeah, so besides that, I'm not really sure what's going on in this car. Uh, it's some sort of fantasy theme, surely. Uh, you got this nice little uh, curved walkway up to the parapet. Uh, nice little crenade relations there and uh, there's Professor Millennium looking all shower and scowly uh, you should really lighten up but yeah besides that there's uh, really only one function here uh, just to bob business ghost up and down using this uh, little simple action like the first car um, and while doing so I can probably demonstrate the other flaw of this uh, there we go the chains despite the fact that they look cool they get tangled up quite easily and have a tendency to pop right off but yeah um, yeah, that's kind of a that's kind of a disappointment. I really wish those were a little bit more uh, stable. Uh, could withstand hauling this thing around, pushing it along the carpet. Because uh, really, the other two cars work fine. It was only this uh, car that actually causes the most problem. So if you're done, there we go. So if you're going to play with this thing long term, you might just want to take these off. Uh, but yeah, uh, completionist sake, just leave them on. I mean, if you're just going to have them in. Uh, display only but if you're going to play with it just take that off um you'll be a lot happier uh yeah besides that um not much else to say about this whole thing so uh let's get on with the final bit and there we go folks with the twisted time train and all of its fine glory and all its weird kooky almost all black glory uh, really the only colors here are black and blue and a little bit of brown uh but yeah that's uh that's what cool colors are in the 1990s you know you have a lot of weird dark color schemes like the uh uh, the Space Police and uh, some of the other guys, yeah, because I'm totally into all those other themes that aren't Time Cruisers. Okay, so look, I really love Time Cruisers, I love Time Twisters, I know I kind of rag on them quite a lot, and in fact, this set really isn't, you know, really isn't that good of a set. Uh, this is kind of like in the downturn, down downward spiral of the whole Time Cruisers and Time Twisters theme, and you can kind of see it. They, they were trying to go with a I don't know, a mobile base platform here for the Time Twisters to kind of compete with the uh, Mist and Mountain Time Lab. Um, yeah, but it kind of falls short. Um, it's cool on paper and uh, display-wise, it's really cool. In fact, in fact, it's a display in my Halloween uh, parade going on through my city right now, so check that out. But yeah, uh, besides that, um, there's not much playability here. I mean, there's, sure, there's a lot of movement, a lot of cool things going on, but like I mentioned before, the chain here kind of disrupts things, uh, and the fact that, I, I don't know, just a few things fall out, and I don't know. I prefer it if it was only one vehicle. The fact that it's three makes it hard to control, hard to navigate, uh, and just has a tendency to get clogged up in my carpet all the time. Um, yeah, because I'm a big kid, so I play with all these things. Literally everything I d uh, review, I play with extensively, which is, you know, I'm a big nerd. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, to share that. Um, this is this is why I like to review toys because I get to play with them. I get to share what uh, what's good, and what's bad, and yeah, uh, the Time Cruisers, Time Twisters, they're a good series. I would really have liked to see them continue and get past their growing pains. But uh, unfortunately, people didn't like them because you know what? They're uh, not really a theme. There's no real cohesive thing between this or the Time Cruisers. There's no I mean, the only really thing we have going is the uh the hypno wheel but even that's a different color um so really what's causing this to travel through time is it does it travel through time or does it just uh, exist in one area i i don't know uh i really wish there was i don't know more extensive backstory for the time twisters there's a bit uh, of a comic for the time cruisers but you know that's in german so 
yeah, that said, um, a fan of the, of the time cruisers, time twisters, uh, it's a very, very hard thing. In fact, I think I might be the only one, but uh, yeah, I'm growing strong, and I'm trying to review all of the time cruisers, time twister sets, and I'm nearly done. So uh, please stay tuned if you like to see more of my old retro reviews and weird ramblings about old toys. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you next time. Oh, and happy Halloween!